five-time amateur and professional national champion. Please welcome Yuri Basmertny and David Kiria. My name is David Kiria. I'm going to fight power and fast. I am Yuri Bismetny. My nickname is Prince because I am a noble fighter. I hope I will be problem for him. I always try to punch hard, kick hard. So I'm going to work. I'm going to do my 100%. Fight is my life. I'll pay my respects on Saturday. This man is a three-time Belarusian kickboxing and Muay Thai champion. On his way to the glory ring, Yuri Vesmertny! Yuri, the Prince Vesmertny. Uh, we told his manager that he looked like a choir boy, and his manager said, yeah, he is, but I don't think he is once the fight starts. Uh, he's an exceptional low kicker, and he was born Yuri Gorbachev, but he fights under the surname Best Mertney because it means immortal in Belarusian. And I like that his mother took him to kickboxing because he was hanging out with the wrong crowd. That's a good mom right there. And you, why was it kickboxing? because it was the closest gym to his house. That's how he ended up in that. Otherwise, he could have been a basketball player or a baseball player. Yeah. Who knows? She saved money on cab fare for sure. But what kind of mother? Usually mothers, no, no, I don't want you to fight. You're going to get hurt. My son, please don't fight. But this man had the encouragement of mother. His opponent in this contest, surprise son by advancing to the semifinals of the Glory 3 Slam Tournament in Rome last year. Here is David Kiria. David Kiria, currently ranked number three at lightweight, which is 154 pounds here in Glory. And he hails from Georgia and sports that thick beard, which gives him a, something of a Spartan appearance. And he likes to fight at a very high pace and can be very aggressive, freely entering into brawls when his opponent tries to take the fight in that direction. And he's currently in Holland training with Team Schilt, which means that, and he even spars with Sammy Schilt. Now figure how that's gonna I, happen, I, Frank. I can't even imagine that. I just, I can't even imagine that. He says, being a sportsman is my life. And when that's done, I want a family. He's really looking forward to, when his career is done, he settles down with, with creates himself a family. Yeah. I, really like, I really like talking to this guy. He's so cerebral, he's so intense, you know, he's very religious. And he's just, he's one of those people that you could tell, he's here to knock people out. Yeah, he is, and he said it's not important to be just a good fighter, but also a good person. And you need to respect your opponent, and surely he does tonight. Here we go, the Belarusian Besmart. He enjoys a slight advantage in the height and experience faster, but he needs to start quickly to shut down the onslaught of David Kiria, because Kiria will knock you out. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the blue corner. This man gained international attention after showing his fighting prowess competing in the former Soviet Union. His professional record, 32 wins, 10 losses, one draw. Exactly half of those wins have come by knockout. Standing 1.82 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 70.4 kilos, representing Minsk, Belarus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Yuri, the Prince Besmutny. Here now, his opponent fighting on my left and fighting out of the red corner. He holds a black belt in Ashikara Karate. His record, 19 wins, eight losses. Standing 1.70 meters and weighing in at 69.6 kilos. He represents Zubiri, Georgia, currently ranked number three in the world glory rankings. Ladies and gentlemen, here is David. Kiria! 
And your referee for this match, Al Wickers. Get to the center. All right, guys, we're over the rules. We want to have a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight clean, fight hard. Watch your head, butts. Any questions, fellas? Hook them up. Back to your corner. Let's rock and roll. A nice scrap is upon us here with Belarus versus Georgia. David Kyria in the red gloves and Bess Mertney in the blue gloves. Round one. Here he is a fast and vicious starter. He really is. He's got a really tricky left high kick, too. Comes from that karate background. Also, watch for Kyria to do spinning kicks, side kicks, and mix it up. Best Meritney using a lot of good movement to stay off the ropes. He doesn't want to be there with Kyria on top of him. And he should use that length. A little taller than him. There's the overhand right, which gets through for Kyria. Finishes with a left hook to the body. Problem is, Frank, when you go to the left hook to the body, you have to dip forward that head. It's and if the other guy dips forward too, you got a clash of heads, and that's what Al Wickers was uh, making note to Kyria. Kyria's got that right hand loaded and ready. There's there that overhand right again for Kyria. Like a little bomb. Best Meritney better come out of a shell here, otherwise he's going to get uh, title waved. I'd like Best Meritney to get that body kick, or even that head kick. Keep Kyria off of him. Because if you think that W Kyria is going to fade, it ain't going to happen. This guy is a true energizer. Kyria's got nice, tight punches. He keeps that real clean guard and then shoots him right down the center. Kyria marching him down. Ripping the body. Here he's waiting to punch and <laughs> waiting to kick. Kerry is so <laughs> intense. I mean, he's definitely one of the most intense fighters in glory. Coming up here, right hand, oh. left hook by Kyria. One minute left. Best Meritney has yet to do anything significant in the offense. Oh, <laughs> jump kick by Kyria. Kind of landed a little bit. He kind of calf kicked him, but it was awful cool looking. Yeah. Javi Kyria marching him down. Short jab, huge overhand right. Yeah, 30 seconds left here in round number one. Kyria has been the stalker, and Beth Meritney has basically been the dodger. And I don't mean in the baseball team. Oh, two or three of those shots got through. like all David Kyria to me. It did. He was at least moving forward aggressively, controlling the positioning, and landing some pretty solid shots. Welcome best, to glory. Yeah, Best Merton not out of the game, though. He was, you know, kicking, ranging, working, working the angles, but definitely took more damage. Just take a look at his stomach, look at the redness of it, and how his head is getting flopped around here. And this spinning, turning heel kick, if he had six more inches on that, it might have been something pretty cool. Or at least done some good damage. Either way, sent Kyria. And the judges agree, Dabi Kyria unanimously takes round number one. Let's go, corner, seconds out. Back to the corner, sir. Come on, corner, seconds out. Round number Round two, two David Kyria in the black and red and yellow trunks. And Yuri Best Meritney in the silver and black. What instructions? 
would you give Best Meritney in the corner, Frank? Well, I was actually listening to his corner's instructions, which was to uh, kick the leg more, and as soon as they get into that tie, bring the knee up inside. He's not. He's missing that knee on the inside. He almost landed it here in the corner at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. I'd like that and some body kicks on Kira. Because Gary's just walking right through him. He's got to stop him or something. Yeah, he, you got to get the respect. Put that shin bone across his guts, and that'll make him think twice about it. When a power train like Kira is coming at you, you got to run or try and land something. And, and it's almost impossible to catch him on the beard right now because he's got such tight defense, and he's also throwing at you <laughs> at the same time. W. Carrier just raging forward with punch combinations. Nice jab. Stiff, stiff jab. Hard jab. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a loosen your tooth jab. 1-1-2 one, one, by Kyria. Best Merton, he's got no answer. Look at the fundamentals for Kyria. They're beautiful. Clean, precise, no wasted energy. Oh, very nice. Very nice double left hook finishing with the liver shot. Hello, Boss Rutten. Gary continuing to land the jab. Best Marty bringing that knee up finally. Yeah, that knee is the only weapon, I think, yeah. will be able to stop this freight train coming at him called Dubby Curia. And this Merton stuck his chin out at him, but then he quickly pulled it back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, you know, that was a nice five-punch combination. The first three were blocked, and then Dubby yeah, landed. Threw that left hook to the body again. Butted heads just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, I swear to God, Frank, I thought he was going to spin. <laughs> but I didn't know he was going to do a jump kick again. Well, he probably ought to throw one of those to the body first just to get the game going. Yeah. Like an old Benny the Jet spinning yeah. back kick. Right, right. And he knows that stuff. Right. Best Marini's got all that body space. Best Marini should just use the jab, I think, and move. I mean, get everything behind the jab. He's... He's very rarely throwing that left jab. And there yeah. it is, the C right there. His jab's longer than Kiri's, too. There's that kick to the body. Because at least use it like a range finder, because wherever it, it touches, that's where Kiri's head is, and you want to keep him back. And round two. Round two, Frank Shamrock. Who took it, in your opinion, before we see what the judges say? I think David Kiri is running away with this match. I think he's just technically the superior fighter it looks stronger in there and he appears to have a game plan to win this thing and this follow it leads with that jab because that jab is consistently holding the range and allowing him to do all this other crazy stuff because that jab is stinging and he caught, caught him with the cab on that jump drop kick again once again the judges agree David Kiria takes round number two by a unanimous vote of five judges to zero. So heading into round number three, Yuri Besmertny has got to do something drastic. He's got to get minimum one knockdown to get back into this fight and then win the round as well. Because just getting a knockdown doesn't necessarily mean you won the round. That's Martin. He's working some angles now. Oh, come on. Sticks his chin <laughs> out. I don't, I don't know about that strategy. Yeah, I, I think it's that's a sign of frustration. He's probably more angry at himself than he is at Dubby Curia. And you do something like that. Oh, that one that, landed. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Slipped over the guard of Curia. But maybe he needs to get angry. Maybe he needs to get emotionally fired up. Took a good shot there and then panned it off with a little dancing. Unfortunately, you don't get points for showboating. Yeah. You're supposed to do that when you're winning. And, and Kyria may, <laughs> may be the wrong guy to get emotional in the fight. I don't know. He's thinking, you, you really want to go there with me? Don't anger the Spartan. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Frank, is there a more intense fighter in glory than, than this man? I don't think so. He's, he's downright scary. 
Yeah, he is. One thing about Kerry, though, in this fight, he's been relatively conservative. Yes. You know, oh, there we go, low blow. Uh, usually it's a one, two, or a one, two, three. Power shots nonetheless, but he doesn't go for, you know, uh, any long combinations. Like the one Daniel Gita absorbed when he faces Gokan Saki two weeks ago in Istanbul at Glory 6. We need 12 punch combinations. 12. <laughs> Boss countered him. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Murray's got to double up on that kick now. Got the longer legs, he can go inside, he can go high. He's done work in this fight, uh, in this round so far, but uh, with one minute left, doing work, is that gonna, you know, cause the judges to give it to you? And even if you win the round on a 10-9, you still lost the fight. There you go, there's a desperation punch, might as well throw it. It, it missed. That's Mertney kind of shelling up a little bit. A pot shot in the counter game. Yeah, he's trying to catch him with that right hook behind the ear, and that would result in a knockdown if he landed it cleanly, but I don't know. Oh, what a great liver kick. That was a good shot. That's what Best Mertney needs to be doing. This is a tough battle, man. Oh, there's the kick again. He just really wants to land that thing. Yeah. I, you know what? Everybody wants to be on the highlight reel, don't they, Frank? Yes, they do. That would be cool to land, though. Shall we dance? And round number three. I would have to say that round number three was a close one, but the first two were not. Yeah, I, I think the big carry did enough. Uh, to really secure his victory going into that third round. And the third round was just a nail in the coffin. The oh. beat carry up, sticking things behind that jab. Got kicked in the groin there, tried the turning kicks. Hey, might as well have some fun and bring yeah. it. Sure, why not? And we have a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have a winner on points. 150, 135, the total. Fighting out of the red corner, David Kiria. And David seems really happy. He got a lot of work in, actually, Frank. I yeah. mean, it, 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 it was a thing where he got to try some crazy moves, he got to work on his hooks, he got to work on his boxing, and it was basically the power and the savvy that really took him to the victory. Yeah, and he seems to have a new energy about him, and just hanging out with him. Maybe it's his new girlfriend that he got, but he's got a whole new vibe going on with him, and I really like it. And talk about power punching. I mean, when he had the opportunity, he was just lifting Besmertny's head up, you know, throwing, throwing things like this long jab rip to the body that is just gorgeous. And anything spinning, I'm a fan of. Yeah, me too, especially when it's a jump behind it because that's the thing that when it lands, it be, makes you a legend. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. I just love that he throws it. He has a confidence. And coming up next in the lightweight division, Grunhardt versus Von Roosmalen. <laughs> 